hey youtube well go on welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go over this malibu should you buy it are things you're supposed to know are things you must know before you buy purchase a malibu like this so this is a chevy malibu this is the new one 2020 so this is what you're gonna get with the lt package so this is the lt package right here that's what the backlight look like and um it's all led as well the new design of the backlight and that's what the back look like and that's the rims that come with the lt model so it's gonna be um where it is it's gonna be 19 inch rim so this one is upside down but i don't know if you can see it it's 245 so the 245 is going to be from this side of the tire to the other side of the tire that's the width and then you're going to have 40 which is going to be the height of the tire so that's the profile of the tire that's why tire with lower um what um sidewalls they call them low profile tire and the r stands for the rim and 19 stands for the size overall and the rim size too so with that said let's get started so on the key you're gonna have the panic button you're gonna hear that and then you're gonna have your lock and unlock button you press this two time it's gonna open your trunk and since the trunk is open let's see that's a, it's a nice size trunk as you can see and down here you're gonna have a regular spare tire along with your jack and tools Go ahead and close that at the back you're gonna have a backup camera right here led led and you're gonna have led brake on um, third brake like at the in the middle and these guys they leak a lot when the when the o-ring go bad the things to leak so if you get water in your chunk try to just tighten the screws a little bit more and that should help it or change the seals that go there so that's one downfall and then but overall it's a nice looking car you have remote start let's try that out press this one step and then you want to hold this down and you can hear it start right up so this is a 1.5 liter engine and it's also have a CVT transmission So that's what the overall car look like on the outside we're gonna go on the inside and also guys it have um capless gas um there's a capless filler neck for the gas so you just get your pump push it in it will just take the gas just like that so guys we're gonna open the hood so in the hood it's a 1.5 as i said earlier you can see right here 1.5 and that's it we have a cvp transmission and also um the problem that i i get most time with the hood with the engine is the throttle body the throttle body um they go by they go by the, um not bad but they because of direct injection it get dirty quick so most time when the car is stalling out or idling poorly what you can just do is just take off the throttle body clean it i have a video of me doing that and that will um help with the uh, and that will resolve that problem also guys this right here will be your your um, vacuum pump it help with the brake so if you're driving for any, any reason and you press the brake and you feel it get hard and you feel like abs coming in and the brake pedal is hard turn off the car immediately pull to the side of the road turn off the car immediately do not start it because this can go bad damage your your, your camshaft and once that damage your camshaft you're gonna have problem with your you're gonna have problem with the engine then it might have to cost you a new engine or a new camshaft and these vacuum pumps they go bad a lot so whether you change your oil and time or not, they just go bad. 
and also the AC compressor they go bad in these two and they go bad they cut the holes for the coolant reservoir for the radiator leak your coolant so those are our next bad things about this car but apart from that the car looks good that good and let's get on the inside of the car so let's so before we go on the inside of the car, we're gonna go over some components. Right here is your air filter housing. Inside is your air filter. Right here is your motor mount. This right here is your engine. Right here is your turbo. And over here is your intake manifold. Right here is the exhaust manifold with the turbo that bolts to the turbo. And that there is your power steering. This one is electronic power steering, so that's why you have electric power steering model. And right here is where you add water or windshield washer fluid for your for your um windshield washer. Right here is your computer for your, your engine computer, your radiator reservoir. This right here is your brake fluid reservoir. This is your fuse box right here. And this right here is uh, your battery. And right here is your cooling fan. Let's get on the inside of the car. So you want to close your hood like that because you don't want to push down, it might dent it. So guys, this right here is the interior. Right here, you're gonna have power switch, auto switch for the, um, for the entire car, but it's auto down. And man, and you gotta pull it up. So it's auto down for all four window, but you gotta pull it up. And for the driver window, it's auto down and auto up, but it's power window for all four window. Right here, if you don't want anybody to press the other switch, like your kids or anybody, you press this. That will disable the other switches. And this is your mirror um, switch. Right here is your lock and unlock. Um, to lock the door and see your door handle right here is your headlamp switch so you just want to keep this at auto that's work best if you want to turn off the i beam in the night um turn off the headlamp in the night you can just simper just turn that off and then next thing guys um that's the cluster that's what it's gonna look like and also these are your cruise control you press that it turned that on once you see that on you can press it turn it off this is to cancel the cruise control so if you're going at speed and you hit this it's going to cancel the cruise control and this is to set it and once you set it you can add speed or lower the speed if you cancel it for any reason or press the brake once you press the brake it's going to cancel too you can just go ahead and press resume so that's what the resume stands for and over here is your AC control and this is your radio so your radio gonna give you um upper car play Android Auto and also you have hotspot so if you you can turn it on through the OnStar and it will give like any, any anything in your car internet so over here we have a nice size glove box inside a console up here we have your mirror with a vanity lamp on it over here is the same thing so this is just to remove the sunshade for the for the for the for the sunroof and then the other button is to remove the sunroof so first it tilt it and then it remove it So the seat is at my seating position, so I'm gonna go ahead and sit on it. Sit um in the back and see how that goes. So with the seat all the way back, I have like two inches of room right here. I'm five feet eleven and I drive with my seat all the way back. I have a lot of headroom back here. So that's good as well. The center doesn't really make for a passenger, but I will sit there to see how it feel. So it feel a, a bit more tougher than the, the actual side seat. 
So with that said, let's go for a test drive and see how, it's, how it sounds and how it feels. So guys, this is your CVT transmission. You can see the RPM stay the same and then you'll see the speed increase. So nice on the inside, does not sound too bad. And if you want like a lower noise tire, you can just um, get a, you can change the tire to get a lower sound. But it's not really loud on the inside. And the CVT don't feel too bad, but you know how CVT feels, that's how, it feels just like a regular CVT. If you hate CVT, you might hate it. If you like CVT, you might like it. But it does help in gas. You can see the RPM stay the same while uh, the speed is going up. All right, let's see how long it's gonna take to get to 60 from a turnout. Here we go, we at 60. So it's not fast guys, it's really really slow, but you know once you have a slow car it's always good and gas and with a 1.5 liter and a CVT transmission so you're gonna have a lot of saving where gas is concerned and you can see the gas price is 315 for the regular one 339 for the uh, mid-range and it's 369 for the hiring for the premium 93 so now we're on a smooth road where it's smooth and you can hear that the outside noise is a lot less than than inside but overall guys it's a good car but it's just that Chevy did a real bad job on the on the vacuum pump so that's kind of what be the downfall of this car but apart from that it's really good so maybe if you change it every now and then or if you take it apart and clean it and we'll move it up again with new oil maybe that will help to extend the life of the vacuum pump but apart from that that's just that and that's it for this one guys please go ahead like comment share subscribe to the channel and also guys i hope i help you to make a decision on your car whether you want to buy it maybe you're a chevy chevy fan or maybe not or if somebody tell you about it or if you were looking into it so that's it that's my two cents on the chevy malibu peace out